It's Gonzo's Cocktail Creations. Today we're kicking off a brand new series called Deep Cuts and Cocktails. This is a collection of drinks inspired by some of my favorite hip hop and R&B artists and some of their lyrics as well. Let's get into the beverage first and then we'll talk about the connection between the cocktail and the song. First things first, coconut infused mezcal, charred pineapple juice, vanilla bean syrup, Palo Santo tea. Uh, Palo Santo is actually a wood indigenous to South America, uh, used for many different medicinal purposes as well as being known to clear bad energy. Now we're going to top that all off with some lime juice. Let's add some cubes and shake. So the cocktail is all set, and guess what? Today we're lucky enough to have our recording artist in studio with us. So let's go ahead and welcome in Hagen. Yo, yo, what's good, brother? What's good, man? Thanks for having me, man. Hello. What do we got here? So today is episode one of our new series called uh, Deep Cuts and Cocktails, where mm -hmm. I draw inspiration from hip hop and R&B to craft a cocktail. I like that. And you know, maybe, perhaps, I drew some inspiration from this new album, Michael. You got coming out. Okay. If perhaps I did that, what track do you think I drew inspiration from? I gotta say that there was one track that you hit me up immediately and told me how you felt about it. So this has to be track five. This is Palms. This is Palms, yeah. of course, because what do we got here? We got ourselves a little palm tree, Palo Santo wood, a little mint oh, as a fancy, nice garnish. Fancy. But that's not all. It goes a little deeper here. We used homemade coconut infused mezcal. And of course, coconuts come from palm trees. We used charred pineapple juice, Palo Santo tea, vanilla bean syrup, and fresh lime juice. Let's go ahead and taste it, see what you think. Salud. Salud. Oh my God, dude. Again, bro, again. So tell me a little bit about this new album and about Palms in particular. Yeah, of course, man. Um, so to jump into the to the project itself, a uh, six song EP. Hold on, what's this project called? Uh, that was them. The project symbolizes like the youthful conquest of um, learning a little bit about yourself, within the relationships that you've had from your youth to present day. So, you know, learning the things that made you tick, learning the things that were positive that you might have messed up and learning how to fix those, you know, negative character traits and just finding yourself, like finding yourself ultimately, like what, what you love, learning to love yourself, some self-discovery. With this being track number five, obviously it's closer towards the end of the project. Mm -hmm. And um, this song represents, uh, you know, finding freedom and, and revisiting an old love, which in my case is music. So like I let music go for a little while and then I picked it back up in a great time and a great space. So I had somebody, you know, with me that was positive in a relationship atmosphere. I appreciate you sharing that with us. Uh, so let's go ahead and tell the audience where and when we can grab that. This EP is gonna be available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, uh, Tidal, Google Play, Amazon, you name it, your uncle, your grandma. Your dad's going to be playing it. You're going to hear it, but nah, just, just with Don't this let game. Z100 get a hang of it, though, because they're going to run that thing into the ground. Uh, <laughs> all, all kidding aside, man, I appreciate everyone that's been holding me down with the pre-saves and been rocking with me from day one. Um, if you have the opportunity, I put a lot of work into it, me and the guys. Uh, go out and get it. Stream it whenever you can. Feel free. Hit me up. Let me know what you think about it. Enjoy the good music. Enjoy the good vibes. Congratulations on the album, brother. Speeding through life in that cherry red Camaro. Today won't be the day. I'm moving in a straight and narrow. Put on good shoes when I'm dancing with the devil.